So, you're wanting to start a business, but you don't know what idea that business is going to be. And you've been doing a bit of brainstorming, but you're wondering what is the best idea and how do you choose the best idea. Now, there's two basic types of business ideas that you're going to come up with. Something that you've already done before, or something that you've already had some kind of experience in, or maybe you're coming up with something completely and utterly different, something that solves a problem, but there's no existing business template out there that does exactly what you're thinking of. So you've got to try and come up with an idea completely green, completely from scratch. Now, if you're wanting to work on the first type of idea that you've done before, or some kind of experience that you've been working in before in business, or in a previous job, or something like that, don't waste time. Get stuck into it right away. Make a list, know what you have to do, research what you have to do, but give yourself a very short deadline and get going straight away because time is of the essence. If you've already got a lot of skill sets that you can use straight away for business, don't waste time, get into it now. You know, when I left my first business and I had all this time on my hands, but I couldn't really do much with it for too long because I had bills to pay. So I took up four part-time jobs. Yes, four part-time jobs. And a little bit of that was doing something uh, quite industrious. I also had a stand at the Sunday markets and was making money out of um, selling coffees and sandwiches and um, things like that. However, what I did do was I went through working out some ideas and I put them onto onto cards, you know, three by five cards, and basically went through those ideas one by one later on until I found something that I thought I could give a go at. Now that for me was going into uncharted territory. So essentially, I did have to find a model for what I was going to do versus what I thought I could do. And to do something there, I previously would have rejected it, you know, completely 180 degrees a year before. So, sometimes you do have to take a little bit of a stab in the dark and try something brand new. The problem is, society has taught us to be very risk averse, and as a result of that, we don't take as many chances as we should do. The risk averse society that we have basically prohibits us and teaches us not to take a risk, don't go into business. So, therefore, that's why we are always attracted to jobs, because we're trying to do something dead easy. Now, ultimately, if you're going to try something you haven't tried before and you've come up with a completely clean skin, brand new idea, something that hasn't been tried before, your first challenge is to try and make that monetized as soon as possible. Now, in future videos, I will be covering how you can actually do this because I got an interview with an expert who deals in these types of issues and how to come up with those ideas and how to manage them all the way through to monetization. But in the meantime, if you are coming up with something, make sure that you write a list out there, figure out where the market is and find proof that people will buy the product or put a deposit down for the product or service that you're offering and prove it as soon as you possibly can. That's what I believe is the best thing to do. I hope you've got a lot of ideas out of this uh, video and that you're going to take some action upon some of those good ideas to get your ideas working. This is David Newton speaking. Please remember to like and subscribe.